Jungmei Ouyang, I'm a dietitian from National Taiwan University Hospital Sinju Branch, Parkinson's Disease Center. Constipation is one of the uh, most common non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. It's very important to tell patients how to manage lifestyle change, such as aid, adding extra fiber in their diet. Here are two points I'd like to share with you. Number one, ask your patient if their diet contains more vegetable, fruits, whole grain, nuts, and seeds. If not, maybe the patient have difficult to chew or swallow. Please ask them to cook their food with longer time or ground them to make it easy to chew or swallow. Vegetables such as potato, sweet potato, squash, turnip, carrot can be cooked and mashed. Point two, having enough water because water can pump up the dietary fiber uh, in bowel motion or egg gravy or soup in a meal. That will really help. Let's try this two point first. If not, you can ask your patient to see their dietitian for further information or help. Hey there, I'm Dr. Mike Brach. I'm a physical therapist here at Tribe Wellness in Dallas, Texas. Here's your minute tip for people with Parkinson's disease. Tai Chi. We know from an abundance of research that Tai Chi helps people with Parkinson's disease to improve proprioceptive input that's critical for improved balance. We know it helps people out with improving postural control. We know it's a low impact form of exercise that helps people to build lower extremity strength without flaring up a lot of joint pain. What's even more helpful in my experience as a clinician is that Tai Chi embodies the mind-body connection that we know is critical in helping people to move better and feel better. It can make a difference. Take care. My name is Bas Bloom. I'm professor of neurology and the director of the Center of Excellence uh, for Parkinson's in Nijmegen in the Netherlands. If there is one tip for people with Parkinson's, it would be exercise. The people in my clinic who do best are the people who exercise regularly. Exercise has two components. It's the volume of exercise, moving more, taking more steps, Walking 10 kilometers or 10 miles is better than walking 5 miles or 5 kilometers. And the second component is the intensity of the exercise. In medical terms, the aerobic component. In layman's terms, cranking up your heart rate or starting to pant a little bit. Lack of breath, but still being able to maintain a conversation while you're exercising. I tell all my patients, exercise if you can, every day. And why every day? There is no ifs, ands, or buts if you have to exercise every day. If you exercise three times a week, there's always tomorrow. Build up your exercise regime. Having Parkinson's is like being an elite athlete. An athlete doesn't run a marathon right from scratch. They build up their exercise regime. If you've got Parkinson's, build up your exercise regime. Start small, but build it up and use, for example, a physiotherapist or a sports coach to train you and to coach you and to supervise you. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do something. It could be walking, it could be swimming, it could be golf, it could be anything. But do it and try to do it regularly and, if you can, every day. It works to suppress the symptoms like a drug, and we have the first evidence to suggest that it may slow down the progression of Parkinson's disease. We have a very recent and exciting publication to show that exercising for three times a week for 30 minutes at 80% of your maximum capacity led to a stabilization of symptoms, whereas controls were declining, and our latest, latest findings are showing brain plasticity new functional connections, 
between the diseased parts of the brain involved in Parkinson's and the healthy cortex of the brain. New connections if you exercise. I hope that will motivate you to develop this exercise regime and to adhere to it, because you will feel better. Hello, my name is Daniela and I'm a physiotherapist from Portugal at Campus Neurologico. People with Parkinson's disease describe falling when they need to open doors. Now, I'm going to show you a tip on how to open a door safely in two different situations. In the kitchen, avoid walking backwards while opening the fridge door. Try to position yourself laterally, 45 degrees to the door with your feet apart and one hand in a fixed point, and the other one to open the door without letting your feet move. Release the door and adjust yourself to complete the task. Apply the same tip on the other doors. In our daily lives, we get down on the floor for many activities, during exercise, while cleaning, and so on. But sometimes we end up on the floor from a fall and we struggle to come to standing. If on your own and you can't come to stand safely, call an ambulance for a lift assist. Here, we show you how to come to a stand with a care partner by remembering the acronym CROP. First, check for injuries. Next, roll and come to all fours. Next, find a stable support surface. Finally, push off the support surface and come to stand. The good news is that you can improve your performance and rehabilitation over time. Hi, my name is Alison Flynn and I'm a physiotherapist from Australia. My best tip for people with Parkinson's is to exercise. It's never too early or too late to start. A great place to begin is to move a little more and sit a little less each day. The best exercise is the exercise that you will complete. It's important that exercise is personalized to your individual goals and to the exercise that you enjoy doing. We know that the greatest benefits come from regular exercise. So for long-term success, I'd encourage you to have an exercise program which is prescribed, monitored and progressed by a health professional. Build a team of people to support you, including friends, family, and others with Parkinson's. And remember, exercise is in your control. You can start today. People with Parkinson's disease suffer physically, mentally, and emotionally. They face difficulties, and every single day can be a trial. A useful tip for me is to plan. Plan is an acronym standing for play. Play tower games that require hand-eye coordination and balloon games that constitute an ideal activity that lifts your spirit. Learn. Learn from credible resources and engage with your Parkinson's disease. Create your medication cards or find learning materials and videos. Advance. Advancing your dancing and exercising skills can lessen movement and non-movement symptoms. And finally, Never give up. Don't let Parkinson dominate your life. So, let's plan.
calling me 